I'm gonna keep Bash, I think. It's a reasonable tool against early aggression from Tempo Mage, albeit somewhat slow. But being able to kill a, uh, a Mana Worm is crucial, and this is a way to do it. Uh, like, the only thing I really, you know, want that's better is, like, a, uh, a War Axe, so I might as well keep the Bash. I think a lot of people will mulligan cards that are good, but not the best card too often in Hearthstone. <clears throat> do I ever play non-Shaman Aggro decks? Uh, I've played a bunch of different decks in my time. I'm just going to shield block here. Alright, well we have Justicar, Reno, and a bunch of armor already. So I feel like we're probably in a pretty reasonable position to not die to burn, it's just a matter of surviving our opponent playing powerful minions. Alright, well that's a good target to bash. That's an annoying card for my opponent to get off of that. Just ping it and hit me for five. I actually don't want to play Belcher next turn into this because he can just ping it and clear the front half of my Belcher. It's actually really bad for me. Alright, War Axe is great. It's much better for me to kill this than just to kill this, both because this will leave him with an additional body in play and because killing that uh, potentially protects my Sludge Belcher. Why not Golden Reno? It's a good question. I should probably make a Golden Reno. Reno is glorious, so. Do. Alright. I kind of just want to play Sylvanas here and kill one of these. And in fact, I will do that. Because now, like, because I left this up, he has no way to kill my Sylvanas while trading in uh, with his minions. If I'd killed the Shredder there, well, he'd just be able to potentially attack all of his minions into my Sylvanas and get rid of all of them. Um, but this way, he cannot do that. So I don't know what this is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that this is Mirror. Whatever. I have Reno in my hand. I'm just going to get my value off my Sylvanas whether you like it or not. And if you're just going to try and play the game passively, I have a Gore Howl and I'm just going to kill everything. Ooh. Alright. You got your guy. Uh, well now it's my guy, thanks. Killing your copy of that. And I'm ring up. That went well. <laughs> we end the turn with 11 power in play, an upgraded hero power, and a 5 charge Gore Howl. And our opponent has nothing. We also still have Reno. Okay. the better one for me. Ooh, my poor dinosaur. My poor, poor dinosaur. Denver, the last dinosaur. He's my friend and a whole lot more. You ever see that? That's probably way before all your time. Hey, Fioni, thank you very much for the five month resub. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the Dragon Army. Um, how do I want to do this? We're gonna kill this. Eh, I'm just gonna play this. Holy dating myself, dude. I I embrace my uh, my status as an elder statesman of the game. Whoa! All right, all right. 
That's powerful. So, how do I'm gonna do this? I already used my Sylvanas. I could just Cruel and BGH this. He just still gets another Legendary. I could just Cruel execute it and then potentially BGH whatever comes out. I also can kind of just ignore it right now. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna ignore it for right now. He can attack into this, then I can potentially execute it, and then I have the opportunity to see what, what, what happens after that. We still have Reno in our hands, so we're not worried about, like, really all that much. Maybe it wasn't worth playing this, actually, just because we do have Reno. Uh, we only have three, on, three left here. Hmm. Alright. So we're going to execute this. Or I guess we can just brawl. Eh. Alright, you're not scary. Um, so now we still have our execute and our BGH. Oh, goody! We are in a reasonable position if our opponent plays like a, uh, you want it? You know, some sort of big minion. The scary thing is if our opponent is able to, to play Antonitis and freeze us currently. Uh, we got a donation from Crazy Neighbor. You just did a Denver the Dust Dinosaur reference. Please take my money. <laughs> Whoa! Echo! All right. That kind of sucks. So he has another Conjurer and another Reno. Well, we need to kill the Conjurer. He's already played a Fireball, so I don't think he can kill me from here with these, so I'm just gonna play these two. We do still have our Reno left. And execute and crush. So unless unless we get banned for having crush in our deck, um, we can remove a lot of uh, potential threatening minions here. Ooh, dear. Okay. Well, we have BGH and Reno. Face, face, face. Ooh, kill this. Do I want a Reno now? My opponent still has a Reno and a Conjurer. Yeah, I think I Reno now. I don't want to use Crush here. I want to have Crush for my opponent's Archmage Antonitis. That's one of the ways I lose. I don't really care about crushing his Reno. I need to have a way to deal with Archmage Antonitis. That's like... And my opponent still has Doctor Boom, I think, too. So, like, there's lots of things that are actually legitimately threatening. Oh. Like Alright. Well, you can hit this, hit this. Armorsmith and shield slam this. We still have crush and execute. And he still has. Well, I don't know if that was this the the conjure from that or or not. But shield slam does make it so I could crush here if I want, most likely. But I think I'd rather save the crush because it's like guaranteed. Oh, There's Dr. Boom. Hey, we got an armor. Thanks, friend. 
I guess we crush this. I think I want to save my gore, my one point Gorhal in case I need an execute enabler. Oh, or you know, you're dead. My opponent still has Reno, maybe a Conjurer. Did he play the spell? He didn't play the spell he got off of the second Conjurer, I don't think. I should have played the Shield Maiden last turn. Cane Blasted? Okay. Well, he would have just Cane Blasted it, so I'm kind of glad I didn't, actually. No, oh, Whirlwind doesn't really do anything here. Right now he's doing two damage a turn to me, and I'm at 54. So I'm not really worried about dying anytime soon. Ooh. Like even with Reno in his hand, like what's he gonna do with it? He's seven cards deeper into his deck toward fatigue. I'm at a, a incredibly high life total. Yeah, he's still just like not damaging me enough to outpace fatigue. We still have map for monkey in our deck, so. Yeah, I can just attack this with my face. He probably should have just played Reno as a threat. Like my opponent I think is being too conservative with trying to use Reno as as, as a life gain tool. Like, it's just not going to do anything at this point. You know, my opponent is, is, is sitting back and trying... And this is the problem that I feel like we'll do. I was talking about sort of common mistakes. This is one of them. Like, not recognizing when it's important for you to use a, a card that, you know, you would often uh, value for its battle cry just as a body. You know, like here... Oh, well. All right. Now you're totally locked out. I don't even want to show him Death Spite. Because, like... What's he even gonna do? Yeah, he just locked out. And it, like, my opponent still had Reno in his hand. Like, he could have played Reno a bunch of turns ago and used that as a body to actually threaten me. My opponent had five cards in hand at that point. You know, like, clearly there's some things that do something in there, and one of them we know is Reno. So, uh, and that's just an example of needing to, to use a card for a purpose other than that which you, you know, want. I mean, it's not like my opponent built his deck around Reno or anything. It's not like he's playing a deck, or even if it's a matchup where Reno's important. Like, just playing the 4-6 body earlier when it would have been a, a real threat in the game uh, would have would have ended up working out better. Druid. I'm all gonna all of this. 